All our lives we've heard the phrase separation of church and state as if these words are in the Constitution. Well, here's the backstory on the phrase, the separation of church and state. In 1947, the Supreme Court took an obscure letter our third president, Thomas Jefferson, had written, and they created a novel doctrine with it. They said, aha, this is what the founders meant by the no establishment of religion. They intended, said the high court, a strict separation of church and state. And this idea opened the floodgates of other rulings from the Supreme Court, where they declared a virtual war on religious expression in the public arena. They threw out school prayer. Bible reading for devotional purposes, even the Ten Commandments on the school wall, and so on. But critics note that the whole premise was wrong. First of all, Jefferson wasn't even in the country when the founders wrote the Constitution. He was in France serving as our ambassador. Nor was Jefferson directly involved in the crafting of the First Amendment, which states, quote, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, end quote. Another point is that as governor of Virginia, Jefferson called for a day of fasting and prayer to God. And when he was president, he had government aid given for the purpose of spreading Christianity to some of the Native Americans. On a regular basis, President Jefferson attended Christian worship services being held in the newly created city, Washington, D.C. And where were those services held? In the U.S. Capitol. And on it goes. The founders of America, including Thomas Jefferson, never intended for the American public square to be devoid of all religious influence. But in his name, groups like the ACLU have distorted his legacy in opposition to the notion that we are one nation, under God. Thankfully, some recent court decisions are trying to regain lost territory, but there is yet a long way to go. For Coral Ridge Ministries, I'm Dr. Jerry Newcomb.